What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Sword. The first episode now is over 1.4 million views because you guys have left over 25,000 likes. That is incredible. Thank you so much for supporting this series. Where do I need to go next? <laughs> That's the question I have. Hopefully someone will guide me in this game. Whoa, that, that noise was scary. So uh, if we take a look at the map, maybe? No, nope, that's not the map. Let's just take a look at the map really quick. Um, Pokemon, no, uh, town map, there it is. Uh, well, I know there's an area to go over here, but basically we've been, um, does it mean that we've been there if there's a little mark there? Oh, we can fast travel there, that's true. Um, so there's Route 7, you know, we need to go up this way, that's one way, but it definitely wants us to go up north and, uh, excuse me, go through the Glimwood Tangle so that we can get to Balonia. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what you you it would say, you know, but anyway, uh, so that we know how to do that So we're gonna go through the the glimwood tangle. I don't know what kind of gym is that Balonia? So I don't know what kind of Pokemon to go for but I think I have a pretty wide range of, of good Pokemon but if we go this way and uh, Maybe we'll find some cool ones to capture as well. I really don't know uh, But hey, thanks for being here guys. Thanks for your continued support on this series. I really do appreciate it. Here we go What are those? Oh, that's always the answer is always Pokemon, right? Whoa, what just happened? What's up, guys? Don't leave. I want to touch your mushroom. Hey, buddy. What the heck is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, a wild impidimp. <laughs> Little impidimp. So, whoa. Uh, what does impidimp do? Uh, impidimp is drum roll, please. Well, I'm pulling it up right now. A dark fairy type. Um, yeah, I don't know. He looks cool. Let's just fight him and see what we got. Um, yeah. mm. if he's dark. I'm just gonna blast him with a side beam. I don't know what happens. No, it doesn't affect him. I don't know why. I don't have my type chart pulled up. Don't put hands on me. Uh, dark is weak against fighting, bug, fairy. I have a fairy move. Fairy does not can't cancel out the fairy effectiveness, so let's do fairy wind. Okay, he's, he's gone. <laughs> Super effective. All right, I don't know. Good job, I don't feel good about myself taking out a little impidimp like that, but we did it. Is this like a maze? I'm gonna tap every mushroom in here. That may not be necessary, but there we go, two full heals. This place looks incredible, by the way. Hold on. A big root. All right, uh, who is this? Who are you? That's another, no, what? A wild Morgrim? What the heck's a Morgrim? All right, so a Morgrim, uh, oh, it's an evolved Impidimp. And it's still a dark fairy. So let's hit it again with the fairy, I guess. And hope it doesn't kill him, but we'll see. Swagger, oh, you know, he does got swagger. Here comes Fairy Wind at you. Okay, okay, yeah, we gotta be able to capture him now. Let's capture him with the, uh... Is this a dark place? I don't know, let's just do, uh... Let's just do a regular Pokeball. Here we go. Hello, Morgrim. We're gonna capture him. Locked and loaded. Morgrim was caught. So a Morgrim is a leveled up Impidimp. Evolved Impidimp. All right. Morgrim says what? When it gets down on all fours as if to beg for forgiveness, it's trying to lure opponents in so they can stab them with its spear-like hair. <laughs> what about its nose? Its nose looks more spear-like anyway. Uh, send it to the box. Morgrim. I don't know if I want a Morgrim on my party or not. I'm gonna guess no. Hey, some people are over here. All right, the railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. I came to ride a Galar train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. Meeting me will change your life. Thanks for meeting me. You're challenged by daring couple, Robert and Jacqueline. So daring. Nine tails and uh, rail staff Robert's out. Nine tails and then who, who's that? That's uh, that's uh, Curlia. Curlia? Nine tails is fire, right? 
I think Ninetales is fire. It what? What happened? I don't know what that was. Uh, but the oh no, the Alolan is nice and fairy. But the regular Ninetales is fire. I have a fire out here already. Uh, so Psy Beam is effective to which one? Ninetales, sure. And then uh, none of these are very effective. I'll use a headbutt against. Uh, let's do Ninetales again. I guess we don't know about Curlia. Uh, so let's see. Curlia, it's a psychic fairy. So we know dark moves are, are weak. Are weak, uh, you know, they're effective against it. So there we go. Ninetales is confused and it's gonna use Incinerate. Won't bother me, might bother our dog a little bit. All right, here comes Psybeam. Okay, yeah, that's gonna just be annoying, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and just do... Psycho Cut's better, right? Let's do this on Ninetales. And I'm gonna switch out for, uh, we want someone with a dark move, right? F-Dog happens to have one. Oh, he's, D-Dog is still fainted? I didn't know that. Let's go ahead and, uh, in my bag, give him a revive. Actually, no, let's just, let's just fight. Let's just finish this off. Switch Pokemon uh, for F-Dog, which has a dark move. That's gonna be great against Curlia. I think it's safe. I don't know how to pronounce that name, so. Uh, here we go. Hi. Here comes Psycho Cut. Beow, beow, beow. Nine tails is fainted. It's a beautiful mushroom land I'm in. D Dog is, gets nothing because uh, F Dog leveled up and wants to learn the move Defog. What does Defog do? It's a flying move. Uh, lowers the target's evasiveness. Nah. Boy, it blows away barriers. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Which would which would I rather win, like, get? I mean, I don't really use iron defense, so maybe that. I don't know. What do you guys think? These are all pretty weak attacks, but. Oh man, I don't know. It might be better than iron defense because the defense works okay against a physical attack. I really don't know. Defog could be cool. Let's let's forget steel. I don't know. Hope I made the right choice. Life do. <laughs> Why would you do that when your HP is full? Let's do uh, stomp. And then I'm gonna use my dark move, brutal swing. Oh, against everyone. Well, that even myself. Oh God. Let's just do Rock Smash then. That would have been bad against our dog. Whoa, whoa, that's a big stump. <laughs> All right, cool. We beat the daring couple. A good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. Too strong, guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. <laughs> actually, I got, a, I got a lot of gold for that, or whatever the currency is here. Uh, I, I need to get out of here. No, no, no. Snore. All right. I need to go. I need to go rest my guys. I forgot to do that before we even came here. So let's head this way real quick. No, 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 no. Don't mess with me. We're gonna we're gonna piece. I could ride my bike. Let's ride the bike. Back to still on side to heal my guys. My Pokemon. Mostly girls. All right. All right. All right, great. So now, um, hmm. Ride my bike back. I don't know what kind of Pokemon I'm, I'm gonna get, if they're even gonna be worth it in that section, but maybe, 
It's cool to be in that section. I like the colors is what I mean. The colors are very beautiful. All right, these guys, I don't need these guys. Those guys are, here, let's walk through. Oh, I get to fight this guy. All right, are you looking for mushrooms? They give off a light when you touch them. Yep, I guess so. Uh, cook Derek. Derek. <laughs> Derek. Milsery. And uh, it's me. So Milsery is a psychic type? No, fairy type. So it's going to be weak against poison and steel. Or we can just stomp it. <laughs> we'll just stomp it. There you go. There you go. You know, I could switch to, uh, hold on, who's this? Who's coming out? I don't even know. Let's switch to uh, talk, Toxtricity. Let's see what we got here. Is if, if I can do a poison move, who is this? Oh, wow. Genotic. Uh, let's do... Let's do acid. It's only 40, but... Let's do acid. Pretty good. Giga Drain. Yikes. Yikes. Not very effective either, so... I want to see what uh, Toxic does, but let's no, Flail will, uh... Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no, that was terrible. Oh, the less that I have. Okay, never mind. So Flail will be effective if I'm weak. I don't know. Let's try a Toxic move, I want to poison him. Does the poison do immediate damage or not? Badly poisoned. Oh, no, here's another Giga Drain. I just wanted to see. This is kind of an experimental round for me. Okay, he healed, but then what about the poison? All right. Let's do another. Uh, let's do another move. This again, experimental flail. My my HP is a little weak, so okay. Another Giga Drain, come on. I'm gonna have to give Toxic Toxtricity a potion. All right, Energy Drain, but you're poisoned, so take that. Let me go ahead and uh, in my bag, I'll grab a, uh, a nice Super Potion for me. All right, here we go, and hopefully the poison takes him out this time, I don't know. Another Giga Drain. How many of those do you have? Like 10? Not very effective. Of course not. But you're still poisoned. Will the poison take you out this time? Finally. Giga Drain cannot keep up with my poison ability, so that's great. On tox Toxtricity leveled up. Sinistia. Sinisti. Who is Sinisti? How do you say these words? Sinisti. Sinist Sinisti. Is a ghost. Oh my god. Scary. Uh, so it's going to be weak against a uh, dark attack. So let's uh, switch Pokemon. We can bring out D-Dog here and do a nice little bite. Here we go. Look at this. Look, you're going you're gonna to love this Pokemon. Sinistee. What the heck is that? Come on. Bite. I'm going to bite it. Chomp. Goodbye. Super effective. So, that was a fun battle. I got Cooked Derek. <laughs> hey, a strong trainer. That's rarer than rare mushrooms. I guess so. I'm getting a lot of uh, gold for these fights. These are big fights. I don't know where to go, though. Seems like there's a path over here. I know, it's scary, right? Okay, oh, this is like a permanent light. Oh, hold on. What is this? 
Okay, this is a Hatrim. And a Hatrim. I mean, do we even want a Hatrim? Hatrim is cute, but Hatrim uh, is a psychic, so that means it's going to be weak against Bug, Ghost, and Dark. So instead, let's just stomp it. <laughs> Here we go. Boom! Eh, could be better. Here's Psy Beam. That won't bother me too much. Not very effective. My stomps are way more effective. Here we go. Love it. Aromatherapy, but failed. Let's capture this. I don't even know if I've, if I've captured one before, but I'll try another one. There we go. Come on, get it in there. Nice. All right, so uh, we gain more experience points. I thought Sea Dog was, was gonna level up, but D Dog did. So very cool. And then uh, what needs to happen next? No matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. No nickname, I'm just gonna send you to the box. I don't even know if I want you overall. So, adios, my friend. <laughs> All right, um, one thing, uh, you know, I was talking about Scraggy before. Scraggy is a game, ex this is exclusive to this particular one. Scraggy is. That's why we keep seeing him, I think, in, in this particular game. It's, partic it's exclusive to Sword. Light it up. Bright powder. Okay, great. Someone here, right? He just, he just ran away. No, he didn't. He's gonna fight me. No, but we've already fight. Okay, no. I don't want this guy. Impidimp, we've already... We got a, b a better version of Impidimp. I'm just gonna run. I have our dog has a good run away. That's true. So I've touched like every single mushroom here. Uh, do I get anything special for touching them all? There you go. What happens if I do touch them all? Pokemon, gotta touch them all. It's a dead end. There we go, that's brighter too. Sure, let's battle, here we go. Some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. They all seem to output light. Madam Judy. Uh, NDD, oh that's cool. Now what is NDD weak to other than stomps? NDD is a psychic normal, so it would be weak against a fight, uh, a fighting type. Um, but uh, you know, I mean, I could switch this, but we could just stomp too. Here we go. There you go. That was pretty strong. Here comes side beam. It's not gonna bother me too much. I don't know. Why I'm still working on our dog. I don't know what, what gym type is next, so I don't know how to prepare. And, and even if I do know how to prepare, sometimes I don't know, like like I didn't know the previous gym was gonna use a bunch of dark attacks, so. NDD again, no, same, keep current Pokemon. We're gonna fight NDD forever. All right, here comes another stomp. Hit you with my horsey hooves. All right. What is that? What is this? What did you do? My attack fell. How much? Ha ha ha, not enough. Still stomped you to death. All right, F-Dog's gonna level up. So is P-Dog. And Madam Judy has been defeated. Madam's like me reacting sad ways when we're defeated. I'm getting a lot of uh, currency for, for doing these fights. Whoa, what is it? No, I don't want another Morgrim. I'm gonna back out of this. 
Morgums are weird. All right, I'm running away. I guess I have a special runaway ability because it says our dogs run away. I don't know if that's true. I just made that up in my head. Luminous Moss. Oh, that was a... Is that permanent? That may not be permanent. I think it gets brighter temporarily. I swear I've touched these before. Maybe not. Kind of a spooky place. That's the exit, I guess. But I haven't been up there. Yeah, I think that what happens is... It, look. Yeah, it gets brighter temporarily. So there's no sort of like running theme. Where it's like I'm making things bright and they're staying bright. I don't even know I'm touching them, to be honest. Whoa, what's back there? You turn! All right. All right, let's get out of here. I, I don't know what this place is all about, but I, let's get out of here. Oh, wow, it's even more. Even more up here? No. We're heading into Bologna. Oh, wow, Bologna is sweet looking. It's a mushroom type gym. What type of gym is that? Bug? It kind of looks like a bug, right? Let's rest up. Lol, lol. Can I get out of here? All right, let's rest up. This is an interesting place. A very vibrant, beautiful looking place. I'm going to rest up my Pokemon. All right, got it. All right. Um. So, if this is is it's oh you know, okay, it, it's probably not bug. We just fought a bunch of fairy stuff. That's probably like a fairy wing. I don't know for sure though. Let me let me see if I get any clues. I was lured into town quite unexpectedly. This place is a bit hard to describe. If you get lost in Glimwood Tangle, it's probably the work of fairy-type Pokemon. Yeah, it probably is fairy. Glowing mushrooms, mysterious mushrooms, they're all pranks of fairy-type Pokemon. Yeah, they couldn't be any clearer. This is a fairy-type place. Uh, so, uh, we know now uh, that, you know, if we look at the chart really quick, fairy is weak against uh, poison and, oh, steel. Well, I don't have any steel moves, but I do have poison. And so we're probably going to want to, oh, you know what? This could be his time to shine, honestly. This could be his time to shine. Check a Pokemon's memories. Write a nickname. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Toxicity. I've kept you along. And lucky enough, you've been here the whole time. And I think you're going to be useful as T-Dog. So here we go. I cannot believe... Like, I was weighing, I was trying to figure out, like, should I keep him or her? I mean, her, I guess it's her. Or P Dog. Because Pikachu, like, just does electricity only, right? And it turns out. So, here, here's a question. Hold on. Who else does the. Let, let, let's switch out someone. Surely there's someone else here. Who else do I have in here that's, uh, that's, that has moves? Who else has poison? Zigzagoon, I think, had poison. Oh no! How about was it was it Stunky? Is Stunky poisonous? If Stunky is poisonous, Stunky is also really weak. So, uh, you know, we might want to. <laughs> uh, let me look up Stunky really quick. Now, of course, I'm worried that what's going to happen. Oh, it's a poison dark. I'm worried what's going to happen is they're going to be attacking with stuff other than other than fairy. And I'm gonna get creamed if I have like poison type. So like poison, if they're attacking with ground or psychic, then poison type is just over. You know what I mean? So um, if it's like fairy psychic stuff, then poison's not the great counter. And I don't have any steel Pokemon, as far as I know. And so you know, it's just gonna be like. So I might we might run into the same situation where it's like. Oh hey, we're doing a fairy attack instead of a instead of a I mean a, 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 a psychic attack instead of a instead of a fairy that worries me. So Stunky, let's bring him back in. I guess I don't know. What do you think? Let's just 
I don't know. This is just a backup. I don't know. Let's move T Dog up here. I'm so worried. That well, so is electricity since he's electric? No. What about what's Stunky exactly? Here, let's leave this area. Is Stunky just a poison? No, I don't want to ride my bicycle. Hold on, Stunky. If we look at the Pokemon, Stunky is what? Oh, it's a poison dark. Oh, that's interesting because uh. Psychic doesn't have an effect on dark. This is really intriguing. Now, I don't know if this gym will be attacking with any sort of like, um, uh, you know, any sort of psychic moves. But what if? Because, I mean, that's what happened to me last gym. Do you guys remember? That's what happened last gym is I was all prepared to deal with, uh, with, uh, with the fighting gym. But they started using dark moves. I brought in psychic against fighting. And then, but but the psychic was really like, you know, weak against dark, right? And so, yeah, we got to really think about that. But if, uh, so yeah, if they do, I, I don't know if they're going to do that. But I know it's a fairy gem. At least I think it's a fairy gem. So I don't know what they're going to be doing. But what if, just what if this works out for us? This could work out for us. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I really don't know what's going to happen. But let's go ahead and move on, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's just let's just try it out. Let's see. I don't know. We we can, we might need to level up Stunky a little bit before we get get in there. All right. Did I talk to you guys yet? Yeah, you're talking about fairies and stuff. All right. Oh, boy, I can't believe it. Okay. Of course, we're completely safe if there's no sort of. Uh, no sort of like psychic attacks. Fuga, 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 I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. You're not a Pokemon. Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What? You don't have to worry about me, even I know even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I I wanted to become a Pokemon once. Well good luck with that. Hey, I, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel, too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon. Don't you think? Let me get out of here. Would you please put on some clothes with the fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? No. I mean, maybe. No. I don't know. Frank. That's my granddad's name. Gosh, I don't know. Do I want to put on... Do I have fire? Do I have, like, a fire thing? Opal has been a gym leader for a long, long time. Opal. Opal's gym stadium is also a small theater. You're looking for Frank? That'd be me. Yes. What's this? You got a letter addressed to me. Oh, yeah. Old letter. I remember I had this from before. Now, who could be sending me letters? Oh, why? This says it's from Paula. That does take me back ages. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill. Didn't tell me, though. She just kept it a secret just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I moved away not long after that fight. I never met her again the day after I left. How was she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula. She looked well, I guess. That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I ought to give you something for this gift you brought. I thought a, I thought a child gave me this. For you brought me back a piece of my youth. Choice scarf. Okay, great. An item held by Pokemon boosts speed, but it only allows use of one move. Weird. Hey, don't interrupt our conversation. Everyone in this town's weird. I'm out of here. I don't know about wearing clothes. I don't even know what kind of clothes I could wear. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. Thanks. This place freaks me out. Hold on. There's an item. Oh, I'll get it after when I come out. Oh, look at you. Defeated on size gym leader, eh? You probably know your way around a TM like this one in, the, in that case. TM Hex. What is Hex? This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. Having your Pokemon learn moves of different types can be a real help, you know. So if I could poison him and then do Hex, that would do a lot of damage. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If a Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving? Sure. Okay, I'll teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Okay. Sure, why not? You are challenged by Pokemon breeder Alina. Dotler is coming out. What is Dotler? 
Let's see. Uh, Googling Dottler really quick. And then, uh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Dot Dottler. How do you spell it? Okay, I, that's how you spell it. It's a bug psychic. Which, by the way, I'm, I'm afraid of either. Uh, I'm afraid of them using psychic at this gym. Uh, so bugs are me weak against fire, flying, rock. Psychic weak against bug, ghost, dark. So let's just poison. Let's do. Let's do talk. I don't know, man. Let's just do at. Let's do spark. I don't know. I don't have anything perfect. T dog use spark. Yeah, whatever. Light screen. Oh, I could blow this away. I could blow this away. Hold on. We just got this today. F dog is coming out. We can blow this away. Then we can use a dark move and do some real damage. Psy shock. Oh, but I'm fighting. Oh, oh, oh. That's okay. Defog, defog it. Get out of here. There you go. Reflect, no, no more reflect. I don't like that either. Physical moves. Is this a physical move? It is, they're all physical moves, so defog. Get out of here. Now what, side shock, again, this is gonna hurt me. <laughs> So here comes a dark move. I mean, F Dog is not the best because he's a fighting type. So it's so weird. I'm having some weird lineups here. Let's do brutal swing. Here we go. So what's she gonna do exactly? Got her. Super effective. A critical hit. And so what? Stunky and R Dog level up. Stunky needs to level up. Wants them to move Vino Shock. Yeah, forget old moves. What is Vino Shock? It's a poison. Focus energy. Faint. Huh. So faint is very similar to what I just had. This attack hits a target using a move such as Protect or Detect. Maybe. Well, maybe not. Uh, Vino Shock. Poison. Nice. Uh, the move's power is doubled if the target is poisoned already. So, okay. Let's get rid of focus energy here. Stunky's real low level. We're gonna have to pump Stunky full of some candy later. All right, Elena's been defeated. I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solidity. All right, so what, what happens here? Even though my dollar hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? The secret is in this, Eviolite. You obtain an Eviolite. So what would I use that for? A mysterious evolutionary lump, when held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. Interesting. If you let a Pokemon that can still evolve hold this Eviolite, the Pokemon's defense and special defense will go up. Interesting. I mean, I don't know, I mean, I'm not too too into the the, the the fine details of some of this stuff, but who knows? Could be interesting. There's uh, there was something over here. Oh hi. Rest. All right, and that's going in. The the user goes to sleep for two turns. This fully restores the user's HP and heals any status condition. And there was an item up here too, a bomb mushroom. What is that? It doesn't even tell me. All right, so now we're gonna go up to here already. This is a pretty small town. Uh, so let's just find out what this is all about. Oh, Challenger Z Dog, Marty's here. Hmm, you've you got four gym badges already? I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Guess so. Look, even more, um, more Pico is wary of you. Wait, more Pico, don't, don't tell me you actually like Z Dog, of course. Ugh, we've already had a serious battle with him. He's he's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? Thank you. Got Marnie's league card. 
What's with that look, huh? It just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? There aren't too many gym challenges left, you know? So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Got it. See you at the finals, girl. Oh, here's the ball guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. Is love in the air, or is this just Pokeball? Or is it just this Pokeball? Here, try it for yourself and see. Love ball. What does it do? A Pokeball that works best when catching a Pokemon that is of the opposite gender of your Pokemon. A love ball is useful if you want to catch a Pokemon that's the opposite gender of the one you send out into battle. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? I think so. These guys are twins. This is weird. I've been hearing more and more people talk about you, Challenger Z-Dog. I feel like the quizzes are a bit too much. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and yet we have to deal with quizzes? Have you caught any Yamask and Galar? If you have, would you be interested in trading for the Yamask I caught abroad? No. Oh, I'm so sad. Don't worry about it. He looks kind of strong. All right, what about you? What is this about pink? Does it mean the fairy type? Yeah, so there is, this is the fairy type. So they, even if I hadn't got it by now, I would have got it now. Gym challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? Of course. Then please change into your uniform in the locker room. This will not be, this will not be a mission so much of a, as a test of your quality. It's a very serious examination, okay. So yeah, he was saying a quiz, so I'm probably gonna have to take a quiz. <sighs> okay. The uniform looks good on you now. Relax, clear your mind and go break a leg. I don't want to break anything. I do want to relax, though. I might have to level up Stunky. Or, or not. Who knows? We still got uh, toxic Toxicity. <laughs> T-Dog. Better name. Oh, that's, okay, that's, who, that, is that the, is that the uh, gym leader? It's Opal. Oh, she, she is. Look, her colors match. Ah, oh, there you are, my dear gym challenger. Though you are really lacking in the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. So my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Oh, don't worry. It's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering, though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh, but if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy-type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now, I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Oh, great. I, wanna, I hope they get raised. Now, let the gym mission begin. Battle with all your skill. I'm nervous. They're gonna ask me questions I don't know the answer to. Hello. All right, okay. It's time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. I do not want to be the fairy gym leader, dude. All right, gym trainer Annette. Here we go. Uh, Spritzy. That looks like a fairy one if I've ever seen one. So let me start Googling these so I know what I'm up against. I would really hate it if they, so this is straight up fairy, straight up fairy. That means straight up tie. Oh man, these are really close to my level. Straight up acid coming your way. Here you go. That's pretty good. Draining kiss. Everyone wants to kiss me in this game. Not very effective. All right. Question, do you know about fairy types weakness? Poison type, yes I do. Well, actually, they're, aren't they both? I, I looked this up beforehand. I was gonna say poison type, but they're also weak against steel, so I'm just gonna say poison. That's right, one of fairy types weaknesses is the poison type. Okay, oh, so it's just a temporary attack. Okay, or it's a temporary boost, probably. Here comes this, acid. Boom, again. Super effective. All right. Slurpuff. So let me just double check. I'm really nervous they're gonna throw out some psychics at me. Slurpuff is a just straight up fairy type. Okay, great. Keep current Pokemon. Here we go. And then we wanna fight with acid. Fake tears. Oh, what, what does that do? Here comes the acid. Nice. Super effective. And then let's just uh, do, do it again. One more time. Acid again, right off the bat. Okay, so I, okay, I'm glad the quiz happens like this. I thought it was gonna like affect me permanently for like the whole thing. 
All right, T-Dog leveled up. Stunky almost has. Discharge. Yeah, let's see what Discharge is. Forget an old move. 8,100. 65,100, but it's a different type of electricity. Let's get rid of Flail. Flail doesn't seem too useful. All right, there we go. Nicely done. All right. If you stand your ground with everything you've got, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong. All right, I see. I can't say what Miss Opal will think, but you've at least piqued my interest. Well, thank you. All right. This, is, this person is the same person. I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. I got the last question correct, though, so I'm not too worried. Teresa is here. Swirlix. So Swirlix is what? Swirlix is a Pokemon that is fairy. Just straight up fairy again. Okay. Uh, I can handle that. Let's go ahead and fight with super effective acid. Here we go. Yes, one hit. Perfect. I like that. That's good. Stunky leveled up. Uh, Aromatisse. And I bet, are we going to get a uh, question here? Aromatisse is just straight up fairy. Okay. If, if we just have straight up fairy, I'm going to be happy. No, just keep the current Pokemon. Here we go. Aromatisse. Looking good. Question. Uh, what was the previous trainer's name? Uh, Net? Correct. Okay, I guess. I guess. I was about to stop the video and go look. <laughs> Speed Rose. Great. Let's do the acid attack right off the bat then. Okay, okay. One more hit will be good. Echoed voice. What does this do? Ow. Aha. I'm fine because I'm poison type and electric type. That did not mess with me too much. There we go. There we go. Super effective again and Aromatisse fainted. I know this, is, this, this one's Teresa. All right, gym leader, there you go, there you go. To be cautious and wary, that's a trick to survival. I don't know how useful Stunky's gonna be. Don't worry about right or wrong, just keep moving forward. I got him all right. So Annette, Teresa. It's the same one. You gotta be kidding me. I'm next, I think you might have what it takes to become the fairy type gym leader. I don't think so, I don't wanna be the fairy type gym leader, I just wanna get my badge and move on. Theodora is here. My, my dog is barking. T-Dog's here, so who's she sitting out? Okay, Morgrim. So Morgrim, we have a, we have a Morgrim. All right, I am back. There was a uh, pizza delivery to our house, but they had the wrong address. So that's good for, I mean, good for them. <laughs> Bad for me, because I wanted a free pizza, no. Uh, so Morgrim, we, we picked up a Morgrim earlier today, and it's a dark fairy, so I would have to worry if I were a psychic, but I'm, you know, I'm not. But so that we should be able to fight him just fine, right? The dark is weak against fighting, bug, fairy itself. But we, we don't have to worry about any of that. But dark is, uh, actually dark only protects against dark and ghost. So, oh, and psychic type. So we're fine. We're going to go ahead and just uh, use our acid on him and hit him and move on. What is this? What is that? What did you just do to me? My special attack rose, but I'm confused. That's fine. Let's land the hit. Land, land, land the hit on him, please. There you go, there you go. Morgrim, goodbye. Morgrim fainted. All right. And Stunky and D-Dog both leveled up. Stunky, D-Dog is 35. Stunky's still 23. Uh, Theodora, Gardevoir. Uh, so what kind of question do you want to ask me, by the way? But Gardevoir is what? I never remember any of these. Gardevoir is a, oh, a psychic fairy. So we're fine. We're, oh, but no. Oh, I was worried about psychic stuff. Because remember, because I was I was just talking about this, uh, my poison is would be weak against, uh, against psychic, right? Yes. 
Oh my god, I am worried that they're gonna start busting out psychics. But if I bring out, and this might be a lot to ask of Stunky. <laughs> but if I bring out Stunky, <laughs> I really should level up Stunky. But they, they haven't given me a chance. So go Stunky. <laughs> Stunky might get fainted easily. Gardevoir. But if it's a if, but if it's a psychic move, then question. Uh, what do I eat for breakfast every morning? Oh my God, I don't know. Curry? Oh my, I actually prefer omelets, but you had no way of knowing that, I suppose. Son of a... My defense is is a wreck. Uh, so, but Psychic is weak against dark moves, so maybe. Let's try it. Wait, which one is worse? Acid Spray. All right, let's just... Uh, we can do the one, two, the acid spray, then the Vino Shock. Charm, oh man, don't mess with me. Oh my god, my attack fell harshly. Here's acid spray. <laughs> Super effective, a critical hit. <laughs> that, that did nothing. Okay, let's let's try uh, Vino Shock. <laughs> Charm again, okay. I'm gonna swap this out. You know, we need. I have someone who can uh, fight dark stuff. So here we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad for Stunky. Uh, okay, we're gonna switch. I I don't want to take the the damage here. Um, so Psychic Fairy. Psychic is weak against Bug, Ghost, Dark. But fighting. Oh man, this is the hard part about it. We'll just bring out this and use. Uh, here we go. D Dog's gonna get some some some. <laughs> some work in here all right here we go here we go dazzling gleam what's this do ow god dang that was hurtful I'm going to uh, bite you bite you yes bite you Gardevoir okay that wasn't enough dazzling gleam again this is hurts okay he's almost fainted Gosh, man. Uh, let's counter that. Oh wait, charm. Get charm first. Good God. Here comes counter though. It doesn't work because it's fighting. Oh my God. Ah. Uh, all right. Whatever. Our C dog is fine. Let's get out C dog, and I'm just gonna like headbutt him or something, or set him on fire or something. I don't know. Here we go. Hello. Hi, buddy. We're both pretty tall. Mystical fire. Fire doesn't hurt me. You kidding me? Fire might hurt you just fine, though. My special attack just fell. Whatever. Headbutt. I'm going to headbutt you then. Here you go. Headbutt. Boom. That's actually a kick, but whatever. Ignore that. I didn't know that you like to eat omelets. <laughs> All right. Level up for Stunky. Stunky needs it. Screech. Sure, what, what, what is Screech all about? It's a normal attack. Nope, we're not gonna learn that. Uh, yep, give up Screech. Theodora. I play a strong trainer, I'm a method actor, so I became a trainer in real life too. <laughs> That's funny. We should be focusing on the gym challenge, but Miss Opal insisted on making this an audition. All right, this seems like the gym challenge itself, right? Now what? Oh, I'm leaving. Exiting stage. Stage right or left? Which way's right or left for stages? All right, what's up, dude? Congratulations, you've successfully completed the gym mission. Now I wonder if you've met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader, Z-Dog? No. Of course, you probably need to save a record of your progress or whatnot. What I wanna do, though, is I wanna, I wanna, I don't know what they're gonna send out at me. What's in my bag? Do I have some experience candies that I can just give Stunky? I don't even know if they're useful. I can get more in the wild area, though. So, I only have experience candy. No, I have some experience candy. Large. I have one large one. Let's give it to Stunky. 10,000. Oh, my God. 29 is the ultimate level. Toxic. Forget to move. Sure, toxic. Uh, I could do a toxic and then. 
Oh, the moves. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Forget faint. It, it would be that. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Cool. Toxic. All right. Stunky, you're going to level up a little bit more. We're going to use two mediums on you. And you're going to become 31. I mean, it's still not good enough. Sucker Punch. What is Sucker Punch? It's a dark move. This move enables the user to attack first. This move fails if the target is not ready to attack. What? I don't even understand it. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I don't even know. It's only 70. Compared to 60, it's only get five of these. This move enables the user to attack first. This move fails if the target is not readying attack. I don't know about that. I only get five of them, and uh, you, no. Uh, yeah, give up, give up, sucker punch. So yes, give up, sucker punch. Yeah, that's fine. I'm level 31. I need to be at least 35 with this guy if I'm actually going to use him. Let's use the rest of our medium candies. 34. Okay, 34 is fine, probably. Memento. Okay, what, what are all these moves, man? Forget an old move. What is Memento? It's a dark move. User faints when using this move and return. No. 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 Give that up. I don't want to learn that. All right. Oh, and Stunky actually gets to evolve. This is exciting. Stunky's evolving into what? Oh wow, that's a cool. That's like fake. That's like a comb over. Stunk evolved into Skunk Tank. All right, and he probably wants to learn a new move too. Then right. And then uh, in its belly, it reserves stinky fluid that it shoots from its tail during battle. As this Pokemon's diet varies, so does <laughs> the stench of its fluids. Gross. And then what do you want to learn here? Uh, the move Flamethrower. What the heck? What kind of move is Flamethrower? It's a fire move. Ninety one hundred. That's interesting. Uh, the target is scorched with an intense blast of fire. This may also leave the target with a burn. I mean, yeah. Let's get rid of Acid Spray is pretty weak. As is, Venoshock is better than Acid Spray. But the benefit of Venoshock, Venoshock is that if you use Toxic first, it's even better. So let's get rid of Acid Spray and let's learn this Flamethrower move. Just in case we want a Fire move suddenly. I don't know. Who knows? Alright, we sure did level this Pokemon up. So here we go. Let's move on now. Can I just go this way? Yeah, I, I want to I wanna face off. I want to face off. Yes. Give my regards to the gym leader. I will do no such thing. <laughs> no. Here we go. So this will be a fun fight. If there's Psychic, I will switch to Stunky. If not, then maybe he's got it all. I don't know. We'll find out what happens. All right. She is just waiting for me. Okay. Sup. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at how you handle those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. <laughs> Let's have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. All right. I'll give it a go. I'm number one. It says on oh, my jersey. All right. Here we go. Opal. You're challenged by gym leader Opal. Gym leader Opal sent out Weezing. Oh my god. What is Weezing? I'm already worried. What is Weezing? It's a it's a it's a poison poison fairy. That's interesting because the the poison should cancel out the poison. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> what? But poison is weak against ground and psychic. Okay, you know what? Fine. If you're gonna do this to me, fine. I'm switching Pokemon, and we will do a psychic move with our dog. Oh no, but oh no, man, but our dog is, is is fairy too, right? So the poison move will hurt me. Dang it, son of a gun. Okay, whatever. 
I was just thinking about what would hurt him. Yeah, our dog's gonna have to leave after this one hit. Here we go. I'm gonna do one hit. Question you, do you know my nickname? It's Opal. The wi uh, no, I don't know. The wi the, no? The magic user? Too bad. I don't know your name. Dang it. <laughs> my speed fell. Uh, that probably means I'm just done for. Okay, so we're gonna probably have to do traditional attacks. Uh, poison versus poison is not so bad. Uh, I can do dark. Uh, fairy is weak against steel. No, poison's weak against psychic ground. Man, I was not expecting to face off against this. I imagine that I'm gonna get fainted if anything happens here. Let's just try to do a psi beam. I, I got to use side beam right off the bat. Awesome. Awesome. All right, got it. Wheezing fainted. I was not expecting to have a poison fairy. But C-Dog, T-Dog, and F-Dog all leveled up. All right, who's next? I know, our dog's poison. We're going we're gonna to get rid of our dog in a second. Uh, who's next? Send out Mawile. So Mawile is a... Mawile... After a while, I'm a while is a steel fairy. Oh, so that protect, that protects against the steel weakness, I guess. Steel, by the way, is weak against fire, though. And I just got a new fire move. Also weak against fighting and ground. And steel is weak against a couple of things, but pretty much protects itself against a lot of things. Poison is ineffective against steel. I cannot believe they did this to me. <laughs> I bring out poison types, but I do have a fire type, you know. I'm gonna switch to fire. We're just gonna bring out Sea Dog. Here we go, switch Pokemon, Sea Dog's coming out. This is so weird. As much as I tried to plan for this, I mean, the only way I could have planned for this better was if I would have looked up who I'm up against before I even started recording. But that was not, that's not what I do. So, I do look it up on the spot though, as Mawile comes out. That thing looks so crazy. Mawile's Intimidate, you do not scare me. Do not even pretend like you scare me, because you do not scare me. I'm going to hit you with Pyro Ball, unless I miss. There's only a there's only a slim chance. No, I mean there's a slim chance I miss. There you go. Destroyed. Okay. After a while, the while. All right. Now, our dog leveled up. Good for you, our dog. Take down. Do you really want to learn the move? Take down. Let's see. Take down is a normal move. 9085. No, I don't like that. So no, I don't. I don't want to learn it. Yes, I want to give up on that. I don't like it. Okay. Toga kiss. Toge kiss. Toga kiss. I don't know. How do you say that word? Toga kiss is a fairy flying. Okay. Okay, so flying uh, introduces what? Flying introduces weakness to electricity and ice and rock. This could be real good. That would mean pretty much anything. Uh, but also nothing nothing to do with poison by the way nothing to do with poison so that means we're gonna switch back to uh, switch Pokemon uh, they're really the, honestly T dog is perfect do the electric type so swap Pokemon this is perfect here we go interesting okay so gonna be weak against electricity also whoa weak against poison so which one would be better, honestly? Let's just take a look at what's gonna be better here. Uh, we can do 65, 80, or 40. So definitely 80. Ancient power. Is that like, what is that? Okay, not, it's nothing really. Just here jumps discharge. Yeah, that was pretty good. Super effective. Question, what is my favorite color? Pink. That's what I like to see in other people, but it's not what I like for myself. Dang it! <laughs> Fine. How about, uh, what else would be good? I mean, let's just do the same thing. This charge worked. Ancient power. Son of a gun. I might have to switch out a T-Dog and bring on Stunk Stunky or whatever. Who's next? I'm nervous that I'll have to, this guy will get fainted. Level up for D-Dog. Uh, Alchemy? Alchemy is what? 
Just a straight up fairy. This could work, then. This could work. Is this her last one? Let's switch Pokemon. Because my stats fell. Because I got the question wrong. So here comes Skunk Tank. I'm going to do Toxic and then... It will actually, if this is the Dynamax round, then... Let's find out what happens. Is this... Is this... He might become my new S-Dog. She might. My morning tea is finally kicking in and not a moment too soon. Alchemy is just a straight up fairy type, but who knows what kind of moves this has. That's the other thing. You could be a straight up certain type. This is the last one, right? So we're going to want to Dynamax. And do Max Ooze. There you go. Here we go. Let's get big, big, stunky, or whatever, skunk tank. Nice, very cool. That is looks like a tank indeed. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Oh my god, you look scary. All right. If it's a fairy move, it shouldn't bother me too much. A big cake right there. Of course, I am weaker, significantly weaker than Alchemy. Here comes Max Ooze. Oh god, that was not good at all. I thought this would be so much better. Oh no. My special attack rose though. You lack pink. Here, let us give you some. Okay. G Max finale. What the heck? What is this? Not enough to wipe me out, but also my move is not that great. Oh jeez, this is bad. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in my bag. I'm gonna use a super potion on, or hi what's hyper potion? Super potion on uh, T-Dog. It's only 60. Let's use a, what's a full heal? Let's just use the Hyper Potion on T-Dog. Man, I'm a little annoyed at this, honestly. I should have known that the, that the, okay, I should have done this earlier. Here's the G, another G-Max finale. Yep, I knew Skunk Tank was gonna faint. It's okay, we'll bring out uh, T-Dog here. Yikes. It's okay. Level 37 is pretty good. I guess what I'll do, I will do the, the poison move. Toxic. There's another G, I, this might just, what is G max? Not that, not that big of a deal when I'm stronger. Here's Toxic, just go ahead and poison you. That poison will eat at you. All right, here we go now. Shrink back down so I can get you. Oh, sorry about it. Question. All righty then, how old am I? Too old, you're... I'm gonna say 16. Ha, huh, I like your answer. <laughs> <laughs> she likes my answer, so my attack and special attack rose sharply. Thank you. Let's do an acid move now. Acid armor. Oh, what? What? Well, here's acid. Even though you use acid armor. All right, super effective, though. And you're also still poisoned. Keep that in mind. Uh, let's do it one more time. Even though you have the acid armor. Here's sweet kiss. Everything wants to kiss me in this game. Here comes acid. Here we go. T-Dog finishing this off. All right. Super effective. Alchemy fainted. Oh. And Skun Tank didn't get anything for that. That's okay. I should have revived. I forgot to revive. Gym Leader Opal. <laughs> Her face. Your pink is still lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. All right, these are these battles are a little more complicated than I was anticipating, honestly. 
All right, let's shake hands. No need to hug. You probably smell weird. Well, good try. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next gym leader elsewhere. In fact, I've already got an idea about where to look. Too bad about the audition, but here's a fairy badge for your efforts. Whatever. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. Being a fairy type gym leader is nothing to talk about. Alright, there we go. Well, you can now catch Pokemon of up to level 45. Take this team with you too. A little bonus from this old lady. Draining Kiss. All right, here we go. The user steals the target's HP with a kiss. The user's HP is restored by over half of the damage taken by the target. Lastly, here's a little something for humoring me. This might help add a little more pink to you. A fairy uniform, okay, great. Great, a fairy uniform. Of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. All right. You received a TM from Leader Opal, yes. The next gym waits you in Churchester. Great. Well, that's easy, guys. Thanks for watching. These fights are really interesting. Like, I go in as prepared as I think I can be uh, without researching the characters beforehand. And uh, they still throw me for a loop. So, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun. Come back next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.